electrophilic addition of water. We all know that when an acid catalyst addition of water happens in an alkene, it's going to lead to the formation of an alcohol. Where we follow the Mod Konnikov's rule, in which case the hydrogen is going to get added to the carbon which has the most number of hydrogens and the OH is going to go on to the other carbon. Even in the case of acid catalyst addition of water to an alkyne, we are still going to follow Mod Konnikov's rule where the hydrogen is still going to go to the carbon which has the most number of hydrogens and the OH is going to go on to the other carbon. But this compound right here um, that will be obtained in the case of an alkyne is an enol where it has a double bond between carbon and carbon and it also has got an hydroxy group. So the ene is going to stand for the double bond and the all is going to stand for the hydroxy group. But this compound enol is really unstable and therefore it will go to the most stable ketone form. And this interconversion between the enol form and the keto form is called as the keto enol tautomerization. And the basic difference between the keto form and the enol form is the position of the double bond and the uh, hydrogen. So here you have a double bond between carbon and carbon, but here in this case you have a double bond between carbon and oxygen. And also the enol form has an hydrogen attached to oxygen, but in the keto form you have an extra hydrogen attached to the carbon that's adjacent to the carbonyl group. Mechanism for acid catalyzed keto enol con interconversion. Let's see how an enol form is converted into a keto form. So first to begin with, the electron from the oxygen will try to form a double bond between carbon and oxygen. And at the same time, the electrons from the double bond is going to go abstract an hydrogen from the um, acid molecule. So it's going to go and abstract this hydrogen and thereby neutralizing the positive charge on oxygen. So this is going to lead to an intermediate which is going to look like this. And this intermediate will again lose a proton where the water molecule will come and abstract this hydrogen and neutralizes the positive charge on oxygen to give us a keto form, which is comparatively stable. And as you can see from here, the only difference between the enol form and the keto form is the uh, location of the double bond and the hydrogen. When a symmetrical internal alkyne undergoes acid catalyst addition of water, then it is going to give us only one product, whereas in the case of unsymmetrical internal alkyne, it is going to give us two different products. Now, why should there be two different products in the case of unsymmetrical internal alkyne? The main reason is that it's going to lead to two different enols. Since none of these carbons have any hydrogens attached to it, there is not going to be any preferential formation of any one particular product, right? So if the hydrogen is going to get attached to this carbon, this is where our OH group is going to go, right? So that is, will be one type of enol. And similarly, if the hydrogen is going to get added to this carbon, our OH is going to go on to this carbon. So that would be the other enol. And therefore, each of these enols will get tautomerized to give the keto form. So let's write the two enol forms that will be obtained for this alkyne. So here are the two enols that are obtained for this reaction. And these two enols will tautomerize to give the keto form. So as you can see from here, this one is 2 pentanone. And this one is 3 pentanone. And both of these products are definitely different. So you will count from here to here for this compound. And for this compound, you can go in any direction, right? 
from left to right or from right to left. Terminal alkynes are less reactive compared to the internal alkyne and therefore you have to have extra catalyst in order for the acid catalyst addition of water to happen. So here in this case we use mercury ion catalyst to form the product and the rate of the reaction was found to increase with the mercury ion catalyst. Let us now work on the mechanism for the mercury ion catalyzed hydration of an alkyne. First to begin with, the mercury ion is going to react with an alkyne to form the cyclic mercurinium ion. The electrons from the triple bond is going to make a nucleophilic attack on the mercury ion to form the cyclic mercurinium ion. So here is our cyclic mercurinium ion. So this is more like our halonium ion intermediate that is formed in the halogenation reaction. Next, water is going to act as a nucleophile attacking the most substituted carbon. So here between these two carbons, this is the carbon that's most substituted and therefore water is going to go make a nucleophilic attack on this most substituted carbon, thrusting out the electrons um, in the bond. So this is going to form another intermediate, a protonated intermediate, which is going to look like this. And the water molecule will come and abstract this hydrogen to neutralize the positive charge on oxygen, thereby forming a mercury enol intermediate. So here you have a carbon carbon double bond. And here you have an hydroxyl group. So therefore, this is going to be an enol, enol form. And since you have mercury involved in it, it's going to be called as mercuric enol. And the next step, this mercuric enol is going to get converted into the mercury ketone by the exchange of the double bond and the hydrogen. This is a mercury ketone. In the next step, this mercury ketone is, will be converted into an enol form, where the electrons between the carbon and uh, mercury ion is going to break and it's going to move towards the carbon-carbon single bond to form a double bond. And the pi bond here is going to break and it's going to abstract an hydrogen from the acid molecule. So here is a new enol that has been created. And the next step, this enol is going to undergo ketoenol tautomerization to give the product, which is the ketone.